So yeah, you can remove certain items from the chart, or you can add them. You can change the different elements. And you can remove them, obviously, if it gets too cluttered, the way this is. But everything's about, you know, every new version is just more and more efficient. Let's do one more, one more feature in Excel for this crash course. These are just the, what I'm going over are the most commonly, the most commonly used um, features. I don't. What I'm going to do here is conditional formatting. I don't know if it really makes sense for this type of <clears throat> table, but we'll do it anyway. You can see there's a conditional formatting command. And um, basically, it's exactly as, as it says, conditional formatting. So cells um, will have certain formats depending on the data or the numbers that are in the cell. Okay, so you have your um, color scale. And these are just automatic <clears throat> settings. And, okay, like we'll choose this one. What that's doing is it's a color scale. The highest number is green, the lowest is uh, red over here. And this would work, you can make like a heat map or something if you had a large matrix of information. You can make a heat map, map that would, um, you know, that would show you what you're looking for, kind of make it stand out. Um, you can also come here and you can create rules, your own rules. Um, Let me go ahead and remove the formatting that I have. To remove formatting, I go here. I just hit clear rules. Clear rules from selected cells. And there, now I've removed conditional formatting. Okay, another thing you can do with conditional formatting is you can um, create your own rule, a new rule. Format all cells based on their values. I'll pick that one. Or no, let me see, format only top or bottom ranked. Okay. We'll pick based on their value. You kind of get the point. You can just mess with it all. And there I've changed it again. <clears throat> but you know, this is just um, all of these different tools or things that you need to mess with. Another way you could do it is um, you could have all negative numbers um, formatted to pop up red and positive numbers to be green. There's a large array of options that you have available. Anyway, this is my quick crash course on Microsoft Excel and specifically Microsoft Excel 2013, but this will work on uh, Excel 2007 and 2010. Um, I have some, I have a very detailed series of Microsoft Excel. Um, it's much more detailed than this. It covers a lot more functions and again, a lot more detail. And by the time you're done with that series, you should be extremely proficient in Microsoft Excel. So uh, just go ahead and look that up. It's called Excel for Noobs. If you type type in Excel for Noobs tutorial, you'll find that. And there's going to be, well, there's going to be hundreds of videos. I think right now I'm on the, the uh, 30th video as I post this. But be sure to check that out. Also visit our website at excelfornoobs.com. We publish a written version of everything. And pretty soon I'm going to have some worksheets that you'll be able to download and play with for practice. So thanks for visiting, thanks for watching, and have a good day.